I'm not a religious person, but I found great value in some of the religious texts I've read and some of the religious people I've talked to. So when I was in prison, I took full advantage of the chaplain. I talked to him about everything. I talked to him about Christianity, about Islam, about Hinduism, about Buddhism, because I wanted to learn what is the common core? Like, what is it that makes people's lives richer? And at one point for a number of years, there was a Presbyterian minister who came to see me every month and we were working our way through the books of the Bible. And what I loved about his perspective is everything was about service and everything was about people. It was never about judgment and exclusion. It was like, how can we help our fellow man? How can we help our neighbor? How can we help our enemy? How can we show up and be a better person each day? And that in his quality of character made me interested in the Bible in a way that I never had been before because I'd had people telling me my entire life that I needed to study the Bible, that I needed to accept something, I needed to do something else or else. He was the first one who said, hey, here's the value I found in this. This is how I became a better person. This is how I became of better service to other people. Because when someone tells me about their religion or their philosophies or the ideas they hold, I look at their actions. I look at their life, not their words.